You're listening to Head On with your host, board-certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Bauman Gairon. The most common reason that uh, patients ask for our opinion about the eyelid surgery uh, could be the redundant skin of the upper eyelids or bags within the lower eyelids. Although we, when we examine the patients, uh, commonly we find some other aspects of the aging that can influence the eye, upper or lower eyelids. The other reason that uh, some patients actually uh, ask for help in their lower eyelids is the discoloration of dark circles under the eyes. Dark circles under the eyes are complicated matters. It could be related to the hyperpigmentation, meaning pigment deposits in the lower eyelids, or they could be actually because of the bags under the eyes and hollowness that cause uh, the discoloration of the eyelids. And it, it is actually not an uncommon problem, and we, we, are, we, we do have a solution for each one of these. There are rare occasions that darkest uh, discoloration under the eyes can be treated with hydroquinone, which is a bleaching cream. But most of the time, that doesn't work so well. Uh, and uh, often it is the laser treatment or combination of laser treatment or fat injection or fat injection alone. It's amazing, actually, how often actually injection of fat in the lower eyelids can change the, disc, uh, the color of the skin and make it lighter. Some of the available and scientifically proven medication that may have some benefits in the lower eyelids includes the Retin-A, which can actually improve the eyelids to some degree, but uh, not to a great extent. It doesn't replace the surgical treatment. What I'd like to talk about also, actually, the combination of things that can happen in the lower iris as a result of aging. Aging is a process in the lower iris that produces a combination of changes in the lower iris, including redundant skin, hollowing of the upper iris, hollowing of the lower iris, redundant skin in the lower iris, loosening of the ligaments that hold the lid, lower lid up, or uh, even a pigmentation change, meaning darkening of the lower eyelids. And when we do analyze the eyelids for the plasty, which is the medical term for correction of the aging eyelids, we actually look at every one aspects of the aging that can influence the eyelid and for the, if, because of the multifactorial nature of the eyelid aging we have to individualize individualize eyelid surgery there is no single solution for that is appropriate for every patient so we may remove redundant skin we may remove fat from the lower eyelids, and we may inject fat in the upper eyelids, lower eyelids. We may tighten the muscles. We may tighten the ligaments, tendons that are holding the lid up in order to take away the looseness of the lower eyelid that can result in eyelid being pulled down. For a consultation about polypropylacity, you can call my office, 440 Four six one seven nine nine nine. Again, four four zero four six one seven nine nine nine. Or go to our website. That is Dr. Bamangayuran one word dot com, and we'd be happy to offer in person or virtual consultation. An overwhelming majority of my practice is from out-of-town, out-of-country patients. Links to learn more about Dr. Gairon and anything else mentioned on this podcast are available in the show notes. Head On is a production of The Axis, T-H-E-A-X-I-S dot I-O.